Welcome back to another video of Hood and Pull. So I will be continuing the second part of my presentation on ClearPoint New Role. So first thing first, all right? We need informations to back up, back up to see whether you know does ClearPoint New Role has a clear advantage in terms of what they can provide to surgeons when they carry out, like for example, um, DBS operations. So one of the ways for us to you know, look for all these um, hints and proof is to read up on scholar articles. So I have found one, right, this thing called the Journal of Neurosurgery, which I will place the link below. Okay, so I look for results under clear point. Okay, so the, these are lots of articles where you know, they have carried out um, operations using clear point neuro, okay, or as or MRI interventions, which actually they are the same. Um, before Clipper Neuro is called Clipper Neuro, they actually changed, they actually were, were being called MRI intervention. So they are the same. So basically, this, all these articles, I have read quite a fair bit of it. Um, in fact, most of it, they have showed that, you know, uh, Clipper Neuro, that if you use the Clipper Neuro features, they do have, you know, significant or rather slight uh, advantage, better accuracy compared to the current procedures. Okay, so these are the articles you can go and take a read about it. All right. Um, so this actually backs us up, you know, in terms of the products. So tell me that look, Clearpoint Neuro, okay, they have a product which is better. Okay, so this proves the product point. All right, after we get out of you know the portion on the whether or not Clearpoint Neuro product is better or, or worse off compared to the rest. Okay, based on the scholar articles that I've showed you, okay, we need to understand what are the growth avenues, growth factors coming from ClearPoint Neuro. Okay, so this basically is just another short, quick recap. This is what ClearPoint Neuro is all about. It just basically provides a live MRI imaging to detect all, right, all the anomalies or to, to target where to, to place the electrode or where to place Okay, the delivery, the drugs to the brains. Okay, so this is just very, very quick recap. So now there are four pillars of growth strategy stated by Clipper Neuro and their target is by 2025. Okay, so the four are, you know, the first one is the drug delivery. Second one is the navigation system for DBS. Third is basically new therapy, um, or the new features that they have. And the last one is to scale globally. Okay, so in a nutshell, these are the near-term goals that they are targeting. So in 2020, okay, for the navigation, robotics, biology, drug, and therapy, and enabling technology, they are rolling out this few items. In 2022, they will be moving on to others, and 2023, and so on and so forth. Okay, I will talk some of it because um, some of them are quite exciting, so we'll just go and look at it as well. Okay, so... From their latest quarter uh, earning transcript, which is the second quarter earning transcript, okay, um, CEO Joseph or rather Joe has actually listed out a few plans with um, target dates okay, that they want to fulfill. So, for example, the navigation portion, they actually have you no know, like smart frame array where they will intend to you know have limited release end of the second half of this year and then a full release by next year and so on. Okay, so we also have the biological drug delivery, okay, where now they have like 35 individual partners and then we have to see whether does this partners increase, increase or decrease, okay. And of course, the new therapeutic devices, okay, they have the new thing called the laser elaboration uh, system where they actually will be doing a submission to FDA come second half of this year, etc. So these may seem may seems very technical, um, but if you look at it, Right. at least the CEO clearly uh, mentioned his goal, his plans for the next few years. And it serves us as a very good key indicator to track them. Okay, Because at the end of the day, let me just put it this way. At the end of the day, okay, uh, even though okay, uh, Nuclear Point Neuro has a very good um, navigation system that provides live MRI, okay, the company must still grow uh, in in order to have more revenues coming in. So in the few ways to grow is either you can grow through newer technology, okay, which is under the navigation uh, portion here, or 
or rather the other one, which I personally think is very important, which is the partners. Because Clubbar Neuro only provides you with the device. But what goes into the brain, like the delivering of drug comes from their partners. So the more partners that they have on board, okay, at the same time, more partners getting FDA approvals coming on board will bring key uh, revenue increase to Clubbar Neuro, which I'll explain later in the video. Okay, so now let's move on to the drug delivery growth. Okay, so on the left hand side, you can see that right, the total addressable market, or the in short, we call it the TEM, okay, for individual diseases is very, very huge and very large, all right, by the stipulated date, you know, of 2025, 2026. Okay, you can see that, you know, Parkinson's disease will grow up to you know, 1.2 billion in terms of the market opportunity for gene therapy and so on. But what more important, I want to draw your attention is on the right hand side. As you can see, like I mentioned, okay, Clearpoint Neuro for them to grow, okay, is that you need to have partners, more partners coming on board, or rather, more drug uh, partners coming on board. And these drugs, because tapping onto Clearpoint Neuro's devices will deliver them into the brains of the patient itself. So the largest partners is actually PTC. So currently, they are still, you know, in terms of some of them will be stage two, stage one trial, okay, they have yet to obtain uh, FDA's approval, okay, but no worries, once it obtains FDA approval, I will then sh share the news with you guys here. So for example, PTC Therapeutics is one of the largest one, um, like Sojourn as well, Unicure as well. So these are the partners that we are also tracking as an investor, we need to track because Clear Point Neuro is just like a device, device that, brings the drugs to the patient. So having a sound device is one key area, but having you know, approved drugs, approved methodology by FDA to deliver these drugs to the brains is the most important thing in my opinion. That's for the drugs growth, okay? Next, in terms of the device growth, okay, so throughout the whole, uh, you know, tracking period, I've been looking at it. Actually, Clearpoint Neuro have been announcing new agreements to bring better or rather more updated devices into their platform. So the one of the latest one is that they, in February this year, they had an agreement with Philips, okay, which if you ring a bell, you know, it's Joseph's uh, company. Yep. Philips to develop this thing called the Clearpoint Mastro Brain Model. Okay, it's too long. Let's just look straight into this video. Okay, so you can see, Okay, on the left hand side, basically it's kind of mapped out what's the component, what are the components within the brain of the patients, okay, with different colors here and there. So this allows surgeons to visualize it in a more 3D kind of concept, okay, which is moving with technology. Okay, so on the right hand side, you know, they are able to project it with different colors so that at least the surgeons will be able to identify the target area better. As we all know, you know, brains, it's a very, very sensitive area. One, one mm wrong, okay, you will, dis you will destroy a lot of things. So it's just, which will cause detrimental impact onto the patient itself. So having an accuracy brain model is very, very crucial. The next one is uh, basically it's in Ju July, sorry, 20, the 1st of July, 2021, is that they had a rather clear point you collaborated with BlackRock Neurotech to come up with this thing called the Brain Computer Interface Surgery Solution, this one, BCI. So at this moment, it's still in the process of, you know, they just recently announced this deal. So we are tracking them to see how does BCI, you know, can further improve the patient's uh, experience when they go for uh, operations. So we can, as we all read, you know, you can see that this BCI, Okay, provides a wide range of neural, uh, provide wide range of you know this whole solutions for neural disorder patients like paralysis, ALS, blindness, hearing of losses, and so on. So basically, they just tap onto the knowledge from both Clearpoint Neuro as well as BlackRock to improve the patient's experience, and this is something that's very important. Okay, I will be tracking them. And if I have any you know, information uh, that, that are worth to share, I will be sharing with you guys as well. Now, moving on to the third growth sector, which is the navigation growth. Okay, so 
Navigation growth, you have also need to track based on how many uh, usage, what is the usage like for Clearpoint New Row. Okay, so you can see that uh, basically they have estimated about for Parkinson in terms of the population of people in US have Parkinson is about 1.2 mil. Okay, so the total addressable market that we look at for this whole thing is about 72 million and it's growing on a 10% basis. Okay, so uh, the reason why we need all this to be growing is because the more uh, patients, unfortunately, that we have, the more revenues that you will generate for Clearpoint Neuro. And don't forget, by tapping on the Clearpoint Neuro, which is allowing patients to have a better operation experience with the asleep DBS is actually way better you know, than the awake DBS with accuracy that was being backed up by some of the articles that we have talked about earlier. Okay, so of course, for the other patients, other, uh, how do I put it, other diseases or other issues like epilepsy, OCD, Alzheimer, others, they are in the stage of you know, getting it out to commercial stage. So we have to track their progress on a very regular basis. And lastly, in terms of the global growth, okay, as you can see, Clearpoint Neuro has about, basically there's about 60, 160 plus centers currently that is using Clearpoint Neuro. Okay, but expect to grow up to 100 plus centers the more centers that they, is, that they have, they will target much more uh, patients and not just much more patients, they will be able to positively impact the lives of these patients. Okay, so with that, I've come to the end of part two of uh, Clearpoint Neuro. So I hope you enjoy this portion here and do like and subscribe and comment below to see what else can I improve or what content do you want me to bring it up to you. Okay, so with that, invest safe.